Oh, brother. Guys, today we gotta send prayers to two different things. The first one being Brazil. I just got done watching that and you hate to see it. Uh, that's all I gotta say. But the second one, and the one that is not heartbreaking, it's actually, uh, it creates laughter and joy in my life and in the lives of many people because this is something that we've been predicting for the longest time. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 at the Game Awards. And they just... <laughs> I don't even know where to start, but it was not a nice showing. And guys, the reason it brings me joy and the reason it brings me laughter is not because I'm a COD hater, it's not because I hate Infinity Ward. I don't even hate Modern Warfare 2. Some of the gooch lookers out there just need to understand, I come from an era of Call of Duty where if you talk shit, if you are gassing yourself up a bit too much, and you step up to the plate, and you don't deliver, that gives me every reason in the world to roast the ever-living shit out of you. And guys, that's exactly what happened at the Game Awards. And as a matter of fact, that's actually what's happening in the gameplay that you guys are watching. I was playing Search and Destroy with some homies, the enemy team got a lead, they started talking shit, started saying some wild shit to the Scatmaster, and by the end of it, you know, the Scatmaster had to step up, y you'll see what happens. But that's essentially my attitude towards Modern Warfare 2. I've made countless, and trust me when I say this, I've made tons of videos about how this game in particular is kind of being overhyped. I started making some of these videos as soon as MW2 got announced, and as soon as some of the leaks started coming out about this game, I kind of realized that, you know, this doesn't really sound all that good. The amount of maps that are coming, the seasonal progression and seasonal content system still remaining, no prestige system, some of the really bad leaks that started coming out about this game that ended up being true, like no Dead Silence perk, no red dots on the minimap, and hold on, before any gooch lickers mention it, no, I'm not complaining because I can't bunny hop, no, I'm not complaining because I can't slide cancel, no, I'm not complaining because there's no red dots, no, I'm not complaining because there's no dead silence perk, I did exactly what you guys wanted and I adapted to these dishonorable changes, and unfortunately for some of you guys, I'm still performing pretty well in this game, but I think it goes to show that no matter how much hype went into this game, as soon as people started reading between the lines like myself and other content creators, we started to realize that maybe this game won't be as enjoyable as a lot of us think despite the sales numbers, despite the amount of success on Steam, on Battle.net. The numbers don't lie, this game is incredibly successful, but for as hyped up as it was, when it mattered most and you needed to go against other games to be game of the year or best multiplayer experience of the year, did Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 deliver? Fuck no! This game got shitted on! And yes, I know it's shat on, just let me rock with it, alright? Game of the year went to Elden Ring. MW2 wasn't even nominated for this category. Now is that because the game didn't come out in the proper time frame? Maybe, maybe they'll say that's what it is, but in my opinion, this game doesn't even deserve a nomination. As a matter of fact, when it came down to it, who won Game of the Year? Of course, it was fucking Elden Ring. You know why? Because when push came to shove, the developers did what was best for this game, and it became successful no matter what the sales numbers are on it, no matter what game outsold it, when it came to the community agreeing with the developers and the both of them working together, coexisting, Elden Ring is obviously Game of the Year. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2, maybe next year if it gets nominated, I don't think it deserves it. The developers have been spitting in our face since the game even got leaked. I mean, that's just what happens, guys. We ask the developers, hey, can you add red dots? Hey, can you give us dead silence? Hey, can you give us some more content? Hey, can we have our double XP tokens that we paid for? Can I get unbanned because I was falsely banned when I was playing the fucking campaign? Can we get hardcore? Hey, can we get any support for the CDL? When push came to shove, what did the developers do? Absolutely fucking nothing. If there was a category for worst developers, or for developers who are most deaf, I think Infinity Ward would make a great nominee. The amount of people, especially COD players that have hopped off of COD, to play that game. All I have seen is pure positivity. Of course, when there's a bug, when there's an inconvenience, when there's difficulties and issues, just like any other game in the world, people will start speaking up, people will complain, and it's up to the devs to clear those problems. Did the devs at Elden Ring do that? As far as I'm aware, they did. The developers, from my understanding, did the right thing, they cleared them up, they communicated, 
and that is as simple as it needs to be. And before people start getting upset, no, I'm not outright hating MW2. I think this game has a lot of great qualities. The audio design is really good, the sounds are incredible, the gunplay is phenomenal, majority of the maps I can actually get behind, but that isn't what's gonna make you a contender for game of the year. That doesn't mean you have the most enjoyable game. Yes, the audio is great, graphics are great, gunplay is great, but I've said this before, there are so many moving pieces to what makes a game good, and Modern Warfare 2 is not that. Some of the biggest flaws I've seen with this game that will ultimately prevent it from ever being game of the year in my eyes is simply due to the fact that we're still lowballing the entire community. 6v6 for the last three or four years has been neglected so fucking much that now it's finally starting to show. I have not seen this much communication and feedback from content creators that often would not say anything, and at the same time, I've never seen the developers be this radio silent towards that feedback. I've never seen the community get this lowballed in the amount of content that we're getting, and the amount of content that's going to other places like Warzone and DMZ. No, that's not hate to either of those two things, but when it comes to multiplayer and the multiplayer fans, I'll never forget this, guys. This game went from having nine base maps down to eight, back up to nine, and then we're gonna get shipment in a couple of weeks. With rumors that Museum is getting added back in as Season 2 content. As in, it's gonna take up a spot for the maps that we're getting in Season 2, so it's very likely that we're getting Castle and Museum for the Season 2 maps. And overall, when there's this much fuckery going towards the community, and especially towards the multiplayer experience, there's no way this game can be considered a Game of the Year. As a matter of fact, when it came to multiplayer Game of the Year, this game lost to fucking Splatoon! I've seen my little cousins play this shit. Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2, the most advanced Call of Duty in history, lost to a bunch of little kids shooting paint at each other. And that's no disrespect to Splatoon. All I'm saying is that this game right here was hyped up to be the greatest thing since fucking P-Hub, and when it mattered most, you fucking lost. I don't give a flying fuck what Charlie Intel tweets on behalf of Trash Division. I don't care that Warzone 2 got the most downloads. I don't care that MW2 is the most successful COD of all time. I don't care if Charlie Intel says that MW2 was the greatest selling Call of Duty in history. I don't care if it's the most advanced COD. I don't care if the Gooch Lickers want to attach their mouths to Bobby Cosby's ass like the fucking human centipede. When it mattered most, when it came down to it, Modern Warfare 2019 Part 2 lost. Dishonorably. If I'm not mistaken, Modern Warfare 2 did not win a single thing in any single category, but I think these two are probably Probably the funniest ones. And guys, once again, this is a perfect, perfect example of sales not equating to quality. Sales do not equate enjoyability. Sales do not determine how great a game is. Charlie Intel and the rest of the Gooch Lickers can say, oh, this game is alive and well because it's the highest selling Call of Duty of all time. Well, if you have Splatoon 1v1 Modern Warfare 2, I guess we know who wins. And, uh, you know guys, it's almost like the community will give you feedback on how to make your game better, and whether or not you even agree with it with things like Red Dots or No Dead Silence and the footstep audio sucking, you know, you can make any excuse up for why those things shouldn't be in this game, but at the end of the day, do we not all agree that if they did just listen to the community and not just backhand everybody who had feedback for them, then, I don't know, maybe you'd have a better chance of winning something as simple as Multiplayer Game of the Year you know, you can gooch lick the game all you want, you can defend it, you can call me a hater, but at the end of the day, I'm probably just gonna start trolling everybody and just respond with Splatoon 3. And honestly, that might just be enough to disprove whatever point you're trying to make against my criticism for this game. This game gets no sympathy from me, maybe a few participation medals for having good audio, and good graphics and great gunplay, but when it comes down to overall enjoyability and how willing Infinity Ward is to fix shit that we're asking for as the goddamn consumers who even made this possible for them, if you're gonna be radio silent and ignore us, how the fuck is your game going to be Game of the Year, or Multiplayer Game of the Year, or more importantly, down the line, when you realize how many fans you lost, how much respect you lost from the community because you're just being arrogant and stubborn for no reason, I hope then maybe the developers and maybe even Activision realize that they can create a product that's gonna earn them a lot of money, but what's more important than the money is the fact that your community is satisfied with your product. 
And even though there is satisfaction from a lot of fans and even from some proclaimed haters like myself, I still find this game pretty enjoyable at times. But when it mattered most, did you succeed? <laughs> Fuck. No. But that's gonna do it for me today, guys. I'm curious to know what you guys think about this. In your opinion, do you think Modern Warfare 2 should have won any categories at the Game Awards? Let me know down in the comments below, and if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell notifications to stay up to date with my newest videos, and uh, yeah, guys, it's been the boy Fooly. Have yourselves a good one. I'm out of here. Toodles. It's been a very